Hi guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be talking about the fallout of Kanye's interview with um, Tucker Carlson the other day. And in particular about this one woman when it comes to the black community, um, she believes that, you know, Kanye is nothing more than a mascot right now um, for the Republican Party simply because he throws out a few um, conservative talking points, especially when it comes to the black community. And um, I have said, I have said this, Kanye has said this, Ice Cube has said this, Kanye has said this, black conservative perspective has said this. This is one of the reasons why um, the black community will never <laughs> go further than where it's at now because of individuals like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. Hip-hop artist and fashion mogul Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, made more headlines following his interview with Fox News' Tucker Carlson last week. During his sit-down with the conservative host, Ye argued that politicians, Democrat and Republican, only see black people as poll numbers. Here's a snippet. Politicians, all black people are worth as, approval, as an approval rating. The Democrats feel that they don't owe us anything and Republicans feel that they don't owe us anything. Blacks have never demanded something for our vote. And that's something I talked to Ice Cube about. What are we asking for? How do we change our life? If all of our organizations and all of our colleges and even our title as black was made by white people, all of our, org all, you know, all of our jobs and black Wall Street uh, Harlem after gentrification, there's never been a fully black owned community where we, we have all the municipalities, things that uh, Dr. Claude Anderson, Anderson talks about. We need that. Here to discuss Ye's comments is host of the Straight Shot No Chaser podcast, Teslin Figaro. Teslin, welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. Our pleasure. So what did you think of Kanye's remarks um, about uh, the black <laughs> voters you. and whether they've you know, gotten what they wanted or even asked for anything? Yeah, typically, and I know Bree follows my work, I am usually about the message and not the messenger. But in this case, Con uh, Kanye's comments are in bad faith. Uh, he is not the best messenger for this particular message. In fact, uh, it is acting more like a mascot, and I reject that. It is message over mascot. And the reason I'm saying this is because many of us have been demanding more uh, for the black vote by Democrats and Republicans. We Again, we demand more from Democrats and Republicans. But while we were pushing that message, Kanye was running around saying slavery was a choice. So I cannot conflate my thoughts with Kanye's, no matter how bad I want someone on a major platform to demand more for black voters. We have to be very careful in this case and make sure uh, that we are not using mascotism. That's a new word that I just came up with. Mascotism uh, and make sure that we are spreading uh, the message and doing it the right way. Uh, one minute, uh, Kanye is rocking a White Lives Matter shirt, which is the uh, anti-Black Lives Matter and then uh, the next minute he's talking about respecting black voters. He has to make a choice. One minute it's not about race, and then the next minute he's calling upon the black community to support him and his black children. I will not allow black American voters to be used by Kanye no more than I want to allow black American voters to be used by Democrats, to be disrespected by Republicans, and to be unheard by progressives. This is a very serious subject, and I would love to talk about it more once Kanye is out the mix. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult position because when he started kind of playing footsie with these, these sorts of ideas and being critical of the Democratic Party back in 2016, it wasn't just him, right? There, there were a lot of people. I remember Chance the Rapper came out and made some supportive statements of him uh, saying that, you know, Democrats, uh, black people rather, don't have to be Democrats. And I remember back then, I think in 2018, writing a supportive article for Chance the Rapper in Rolling Stone magazine, because I think that there is a real there there. There's a really um, important argument to be made about what happens 
to black voters if their votes are assumed to be devoted to the Democratic Party. You don't see the same kind of courtship that can sometimes happen with voters like Latino voters who are more divided, less less partisanly, you know, segue, um, sectioned off in the way that black voters are. You see people actually bidding for their attention and offering things substantively from a policy perspective, whereas black voters are told, like Joe Biden did uh, during the election season this past, uh, two, you know, two years ago, that if you don't vote for me, you're just summarily not black. So it is useful to want to have that conversation. And as you pointed out, Ice Cube was a part of that conversation. There were other hip hop artists and others who were frustrated with the with the assumption that black voters were going to fall in line without being given anything in return. And those people were vilified. Um, and, and it was argued that they were, at that time, mascots, if you will, for the Republican Party and Republican interests. And in, in Kanye doing this after the years that he's had of you know wearing the MAGA hats and frankly not making much in the way of demands from the Republican Party has I think given credibility to those attacks. But separate and apart yeah, from no, Kanye, hold on, Brie. Hold on, Brie. One second. Hold yeah. on. Because Ice Cube was not looked at as a mascot. I want to kind of back up on what I mean when I say mascot. But unfortunately, Tesla, I think that he was. But, I don't think it was fair, but yeah, he let me, was definitely let me, vilified. Let me finish. Let me finish my point. I've been vilified as well. I'm talking about among Black voters. I'm talking about among Black Americans. Ice Cube has always been respect, uh, respected by the black community. So let's let me be clear in what I'm saying. Yes, we've been vilified. I have talked about we need more for black voters. I've been going on, on Fox News for six years saying that it's in my pen tweet. What I'm talking about now is Kanye is not the right messenger. Ice Cube has always had respect uh, from black America because he has consistently talked about black America. He has consistently talked about the importance of black people getting respected from the 90s until now. So Kanye cannot one minute be all about black voters and then the next minute saying slavery was a choice. So yes, it's a great argument, but he is not the messenger brief. Black Americans who are fighting this on the ground, wanting more for our vote, we won't allow our message to be conflated with someone else because right now uh, we are the best topic for right now. And next week is White Lives Matter. Next week is slavery is not a choice. He's not the right messenger. So yes, it is a good topic to have. But again, we are looking for consistency. We're not looking for mascots. Yes, we were vilified for saying you're helping Republicans. Yes, Ice Cube was talked about for saying he was helping Donald Trump, but Ice Cube is no Kanye. But, and so Kanye Tesla, has to make a decision on what side, what side is he gonna be on? The Tesla, side of the, black voters? That's, that's or the just argument I'm making. But, but it definitely is true that, that Ice Cube was vilified by a lot of black Americans. Roland Martin yes. came out and, criti and criticized um, him. Yes. A lot of the democratic establishment, black people, because of the threat that I think a uh, respected black person like Ice Cube coming forward and making those statements. Right, but because but of the threat Cube's that he presented. Kanye. That's the point I'm making. Ice Cube's not Kanye. Vilified versus being a mascot. When I say a mascot, I'm saying uh, Kanye picks and chooses when he wants to align with black people. No, I, you can't I hear say you. white lives. You can't say white lives matter yeah. last week. And, and dismiss the protest. And again, this is not a defense for Black Lives Matter, the organization, but you cannot say White Lives Matter uh, last week to intentionally insult those of us that are putting our lives on the front line, not on TV, but intentionally insult those who are putting our life on the line and then double back and say, well, what about black voters? That's what I mean when I say a mascot. No, I understand the, what you mean. Being vilified is totally different. I, so I Kanye, understand what you mean. Not, and I substantively right and I substantively agree with the differences there. But here's what I also think is important, Teslin. There will be black gatekeepers who will come for people and use the exact same criticisms they use for Kanye West for people like um, uh, Ice Cube. And so I completely agree with you that they're substantively different. But at the end of the day, there were people that were using the same language about Ice Cube, saying that you're just caping for the Republican Party, you're just doing this for click. All of, all of those arguments were made. So that's why I do think it's important that even if it is Kanye who is bringing this stuff up to try to disaggregate what is a useful, truthful crit critique out of what he's saying, at the same time as you're doing, you criticize the no, inconsistency the that Kanye has been making this argument this with. Yeah, go ahead. Of, this can't, no, normally when I even talk to conservatives who bring up good points, I am very good with, as you know, Brie, you followed my work for seven years now. There are times when I can pull out the what they say, the meat from the bone. In this particular case, this man, it hasn't even been seven days since he said white lives matter and got a shirt about white lives matter. This is not one of those instances that- Okay, I, I've had enough of that. Um, that woman, I've had enough. You can watch the rest of that on, I don't have the link below, but
See, this is a problem in my community, and I am going to keep on talking about it. What if anyone has saw saw that um, interview with Kanye West? You know exactly what he means by um, if you say certain things, people will not like it, and you need to start towing a line, or else you'll get told, or, or else basically you'll lose your livelihood and all this other stuff. This, these are the types of individuals that will give these types of ultimatums, and honestly, like. You heard how he, look, you have three men here, three men here that they already named um, that um, basically are in agreement with this um, type of ideology that blacks need to, um, basically we need our own stuff. We need to start building wealth. And in order to do that, um, we need, well, at least that's what they're saying. They need help. They, um, They need help. And when it comes to our vote, it depends on what, these parties are offering towards the black community in which we can fulfill um, these goals of ours, but yet no one seems to be compete to be competing for my our vote. Honestly, um, I, I would have to disagree with that. Disagree with him on that because I don't want special privileges being given to us just simply because we're black because of you know past travesties. The government doesn't owe us anything. We are here in this country, or, or else I mean. If, 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 if you really want to go there, they could send us all back to Africa. And I'm pretty sure there would be an uproar about that. But you are here in America and you have the opportunity, just like anybody else, just like everybody else has um, trouble when it comes to navigating the nuances of race relations here in America. Black people need to do learn how to do that, too. You need friends in high places and you need friends in low places. Just saying. But I mean, here you have men. You know, Chance the Rapper, Ice Cube, and Kanye all agreeing on something. But whenever, you know, it's these types of individuals, which, t- which tend to be a lot of black women, the only reason why they look, um, why they're so um, um, clinging on to the Democrat vote is because of welfare. There's no comp- competing with our, uh, with our votes if we're always being bought. Like, the c- black community has been bought. That's the reason why... Um, individuals like Biden feel so strongly or, or at least are so bold and brazen to say things like if you ain't black um you if you don't know if, if you're not voting for me then you ain't black why would he say something like that if the democrats hadn't bought our votes for so long and they've only bought the, our votes because they knew that we were going to be a loyal party and now they're literally trying to Um, claim your black card if you don't vote for them it's like do you not know what we did for you that's literally the um the um, the attitude that i get from individuals who who basically speak like this and they there there's no reason and honestly when i look at when, uh, when they say uh um like kanye is a mascot but if if ice cube were to say the same thing you would listen what kind of shit is that? This is the reason why we can't go far. Why does it matter who says what the truth is? Okay, Kanye says whatever is on his mind, but it doesn't mean that what he's speaking isn't truth. And be simply because you don't like him, simply because you don't like the fact that he is saying it, you think that therefore we sh- he shouldn't even be included in the conversation? This man has probably been on the forefront of it all. He's seen it. Not only living on, on, on the Chicago and living on the south side of Chicago, but also being in the industry. He knows how this works. He can obs- He has probably observed time after time after time how black people are literally being played as pines um, on by both sides but yet you have individuals like her who simply don't care who simply feel a certain way about him wearing a white lives matter shirt and let, let let's just get this straight first off the only reason why like white lives matter shirts were being made is because of the recent um anti-white rhetoric that has been displayed coming a lot from our direction from the black community direction so that's one thing so she's she's trying to act like the uh, reason why kanye made the these white life matter shirts is it is in protest of um um, giving some sort of credence to white supremacists. No, the reason why he made those shirts is because of all of the anti-white rhetoric coming from no other than black people in society. So don't, and don't sit here and act like you don't even know that. Um, and, and then second off, um, 
They talk it. Oh my God. When it comes to, um, well, yeah, I already mentioned that when it comes to him talking about slavery by choice, what he's talking about with slavery by choices, he, like this woman has said, how can you, how can we believe anything? How can not believe? How can we have him sit here and um, display our message when one week he's wearing a white life, uh, white lives matter t-shirt, which is what I just explained why he did that. And the next day he's um, talking about, you know, uh, black people and slavery, you know, this is slavery by choice. What he is referring to when he says slavery by choice is the welfare system. He's not talking about slavery by choice about our ancestors. Like you have got to be the most, the ditziest person to think that when he meant slavery by choice meant our ancestors. Like, come on. Like, I, like these types of individuals, this is the reason why our party can, our, our people can never integrate into society and blend in because you have people like her gatekeeping and let's not even go through y'all don't even want to go through the comment section there's a lot of black people in the comment section literally ripping both of them apart but mainly this woman the one who's always talking just just talking bad about kanye here calling him a mascot and all this other stuff you know she then she wants to backtrack and say that she he's not a mascot no you are most definitely calling him a mascot and then um, you, you wonder why you wonder why people don't want to listen to individuals like you, you cannot pick and choose, um, who in the black community can get what, or say what, or have a voice. Either we all have a voice or we don't have a voice. And, um, individuals like this gatekeeping, they are the ones that are always keeping us back. How, how do you know what all of us want? Maybe not all of us want what it is, whatever it is that you think that we want. Okay, so whatever Kanye is saying, whatever, which is the same thing that Chance the Rapper, which is the same thing that Ice Cube has been saying, which is something that a lot of black people who are conservative and independent have picked up on, is that, hey, we need to build our, you know, our enterprises, black enterprises that will generate wealth just like Asians have, just like Hispanics have, just like whites have. And until we can finally do that, we will, we will always be seen as less in society. And, you know, I'm sorry, those, the white liberals will always be there to all, to look at us as if we're some sort of project that they should fix because we can't even come together and fix ourselves. So I'm like, you know, I, I just think it was nasty hearing from this woman. I don't know. I mean, she says she's been on Fox and, you know, I'm always going to, be in someone's corner who's supposed to be champion, you know, black, you know, rights or black, um, excellence and all this other stuff when it comes to my community. But when you act like this, I, I don't know. You, you, like my foot's always going to be one foot in and one foot out the door. I just think it's despicable how you talk about do you talk about him as if he's a mascot instead of just looking at him as a human being and understanding where he's coming from, actually looking, understanding where he's coming from and seeing how and, and see his vision of why he wants black America to be off of the Democrat plantation. If you cannot understand him and why he wants that, then you honestly, you shouldn't be trying to further the efforts when it comes to blacks getting, you know, uh, blacks, um, um, elevating themselves in society. I just feel like individuals like this, they only want to, they only feel like the only way black people can get places is if we're granted special privileges. And that's not what most black people I know want. We don't want to be seen as special privileges or, or seen as special or be given special privileges just so that we can be on the same level as our peers. I think a lot of us want to get there on our own merit, not, you know, because, because at the end of the day, it's going to like, at the end of the day, we'll know that we got there by merit and instead of someone just giving us a place because there needs to be diversity or there needs to be, there needs to be a black person here. It sounds more like pity than anything, but let me know what you think. Um, thanks for tuning in and you guys all have a nice day. Bye.